Postnuptial agreements are the trickiest contract that I draw up. And let me explain why. With a prenuptial agreement, that's something that the parties enter into before they marry. And so the courts look at that and say, well, you're agreeing to all this, and it's because the two of you are getting married. <clears throat> so because of that, you have a reason to agree. And the courts call that reason consideration. That's the legal term for it. With a postnup, they're already married. So where do you get the reason to sign the thing, right? The, the marriage can't be it. It's already happened. So we have to come up with consideration. The Supreme Court of Tennessee has said that if you are reconciling, so if one party's filed for divorce or intends to file for divorce, and they say to the other party, I'll take you back, but only on these terms you're going to sign this, and then I'll I, I won't divorce you that that can be upheld as a as consideration and as a real contract. So you have to be very careful. You can't just ask someone, hey, you know, you just won the lottery and I really want, you know, 50% of that if we ever got divorced. Let's make sure to put that in writing. No, 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 no. That's not going to happen. You've got to have a reason. You have to have actually wanted to leave the marriage and probably actively taken steps to do that that would then be evidence to a court that you had consideration when your partner agreed, oh, I'll sign this and I'll give you X, Y, Z if we divorce because I love you so much and want to keep you.